Hello everybody, this is Brian Garvin from Oceanside, California, and um, today the weather's about 67 degrees and just slightly windy, but, but not bad at all. And actually the wind's been dying down, but it, it's, it's, it's really beautiful out here. Um, but today I'm going to talk about the Theta Network and the Theta Token, T-H-E-T-A, and the T-Fuel Token, T-F-U-E-L. Now, I'm invested in the Theta Token, not the T-Fuel Token. But before I go any further, um, let me read my standard disclaimer, because I have to by law. Um, this is not financial advice, and I'm not a financial planner. I'm just another crypto guy um, on a million or multi-million dollar journey in the crypto space over the next you know, cycle or two. And I want to go over all the plays I'm in, and, and hopefully it'll influence you, you know, and, and set you in a positive direction so you could start stack, stacking some serious cheese as well. So um, basically, I feel that the projects I cover are the best, most highly researched projects in the companies that are poised for serious growth. Um, these are real plays. These aren't, you know, and I'm not saying that, you know, over time I won't do a couple of speculative plays, but I'll let you know that it's speculative and I'll let you know that it's a gambling play. I'm not just going to shill a coin and, and not tell you the risks. So, but this, this coin, I think it is a relatively high cap coin. I think there's a lot less risk in it than there would be say a coin, you know, valued at $10 million. So anyways, um, so let's go into the Theta network and what it's all about. Right now it has a market cap of about $1.9 billion, which isn't really that high for a project this ambitious. Um, it's a very low market cap for a project of this utility because it, there's a lot of really good tech behind it. And, and, and I'm gonna go over that soon. Um, it has a 24-hour trading volume of $47 million. It has a circulating supply of 1 billion tokens. Um, the token price is currently $1.98, so you could still pick them up for just under $2 because of the problem with Israel. Uh, I mean, Iran attacking uh, Israel, and I don't really know where that's all going right now, but it seems hopefully it'll level off soon and it'll just, you know, everybody will be at peace, but who knows. Um, the company right now is listed as having 11 to 50 employees and their headquarters is, is in Cupertino, California. So that's in the same state I'm in. I'm, I'm from Oceanside, California. So the mission statement is most of today's internet bandwidth uh, consists of streaming services. Think of YouTube, like, like, like the platform I'm doing right now. They're a centralized streaming service. So is Twitch and some others. Um, video uh, streaming is the future of everything and the Theta network is at the forefront. They're, they're actually the best position, decentralized uh, video streaming network that's in the best position to form alliances with some of these big companies and, and, and just grow their um, market share by an incredible amount people can't even imagine right now. Um, so today's typical centralized streaming infrastructure is often inefficient and, and it's prone to choppy, lagging, or buffering streams. Uh, the Theta Network uh, token name, as I said before, T H E T A. If you want to look it up on Coin Market Cap, they want to address this problem and provide a solution and promote itself as the first decentralized streaming network. Um, it's a dual blockchain with an open source protocol. It's actually a dual network consisting of two complementary um, subsystems: the Theta blockchain and the Theta Edge network. But the token, I mean, the the, the project itself is let me see if I got this right yeah okay I keep forgetting the name of it but I'll get around to telling you that soon but it allows developers and partners to build decentralized applications on the network just like ethereum it's a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer delivery network that enables free high band net uh, high bandwidth content delivery the theta network aims to be the next generation of AI technology by providing decentralized streaming infrastructure that is cheaper than competing centralized platforms like, like Twitch. So the main mission of the Theta Network is to offer these video s streaming services at a much cheaper price than, than, than by using a network of, of tens of thousands or, or in the future, you know, hundreds of thousands or even millions of people that are on the network. That Because the more people that are on the network, the more it strengthens the network itself because um, I'm gonna get into why that, ha why, why that's, you know, uh, um, why that's an issue real shortly. And by the way, what I meant to say was earlier, and I had a little brain fart, was that, that uh, the Theta network is a native token, which means it's its own blockchain. Um, 
but it operates a lot like Ethereum where other people can build their dApps on the platform. Um, so the Theta views themselves as, the, as a decentralized streaming network and not, not as a decentralized streaming network, even though they are, they, but they don't view themselves that way. They view themselves more of a content delivery network. So they like to put themselves in the same category as, as YouTube and some of these other big video sites and uh, Twitch and some others. Um, so Theta Labs, okay, is a part of the, the Theta network and um, it has its own streaming site and, and, and you can find that at theta.tv. Uh, the site pays viewers in Theta Fuel or T Fuel, T F U E L, uh, to watch video content. Uh, this is another token listed on Coin Market Cap. So you can find both of these coins listed on Coin Market Cap. They're two actually separate projects within the, the, the bigger project of, of the um, Theta network. Okay, so staking. Developers can also build D apps on its open source protocol, like I just mentioned. Um, they use a proof of stake consensus mechanism, which is based on staking. Uh, participants have the ability to lock in large amounts of theta tokens that will give them the right to process large amounts of transaction blocks. Um, there's three categories of people that are part of the um, theta network ecosystem, and I'm going to go over those right now. The first category is enterprise validator nodes. Uh, these are companies that hold large amounts of tokens to process transactions on the network. Some of the best known validator nodes are Sony, Talent Shop Creative Artists Agency, Google and Samsung. So these are, you know, these are mostly companies you've heard of. Um, validator nodes are the network's first line of defense and require validators to stake, at this time, I believe it's 200,000 Theta coins. So if you have 200,000 Theta coins, you could become an enterprise validator node. Um, a maximum of 31 validators can run at any one time. So they don't want it congested with, you know, hundreds and hundreds or thousands of validator nodes they want to limit the number of those so no, category two are guardian nodes these are these are a step under the enterprise validator nodes uh, these are community nodes in charge of maintaining uh, consensus by securing validation at predefined points uh, they also ensure the enterprise validator nodes perform accurately so so the guardian nodes they call them guardian nodes because they're actually watching over the enterprise validator nodes and making sure they're performing the way they're supposed to um, this also adds a second uh, layer of security to the Theta protocol. If a malicious validator node slips through the enterprise validator node, the Guardian uh, node will stop it. So it, it, it's just an extra layer of security. It's like having a password and then having a pass key after that or something. You know, it's just extra security. The Guardian, a Guardian node only needs to stake a thousand Theta coins. So you could be a Guardian node if you have um, actually, I think I'm a guardian node because I, I have about 1,500, I believe I have like about 1,550 data coins because I have $3,100 worth. Um, so I, I think I'm actually a guardian node and don't even know it, but I, if, it, if anything's happening, it's happening behind the scenes and I'm not actively involved. So I, I mean, but I believe I might be a guardian node. And there's also something called an edge node. This is category three. These allow users to relay video streams and share their bandwidth for these streams on theta.tv. They are rewarded with T Fuel tokens for supporting the network. This service is free to the end user. So the end user doesn't pay anything for anything. They just use the service for free. And it's the it's it's the nodes that are paying for the tokens. Edge nodes don't stream entire videos, just parts of them. So so edge nodes, um, I guess the way they, they have the network set up is they're they're only um, playing parts of the, or excuse me, streaming parts of the videos and not the entire one. I guess you got to be a guardian node or an enterprise validator node to stream an entire video. Um, so what set, I'm going to go over right now, what sets uh, the Theta network apart from other people? And, I, and I'm going to do a, just a really quick comparison to Akash here. So you kind of understand the difference because they're both, they both actually rent out space on people's computers for different purposes. Um, centralized video streaming platforms and content distribution platforms like CDPs um, in include companies like YouTube, Spotify, Amazon Music, Deezer, Apple, and others. Um, and they're basically limited by their server location. All these are centralized uh, video streaming services and, 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 and they're, they're limited to their location. Um, centralized servers can't keep up with the ever increasing demand for server quality. And this is where the Theta Network comes in because they have the, they have the potential to grow to an unlimited amount. And, and they have this hasn't happened yet with this token, 
and that's why you know it, it's a, it might be a good time to look at it um, the theta network solved this problem by bridging the gap between the streaming quality and speed by enabling its global user network to relay videos by using its computer power and spare ba bandwidth so anyone that has spare bandwidth they could use to increase the, the, the their their capacity and the power of the network so the more people that get involved the more you know computer space they can rent out um, so this is a similar play to Akash okay it's a lot it, 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 because both of these companies uh, want to build a massive network by using spare computing uh, power of others however the difference is that the Theta network is more targeted and focuses their efforts solely on video streaming where is Akash rents out CPU space to anyone for pretty much anything they need it for not just video streaming but they're, they're just they're not as targeted um, so the more users that are on the Theta network, the more bandwidth that'll be available for video streaming, like, like I kind of mentioned before. And each new node that's developed will increase the speed and quality of the network. So, at, so this is something that has the potential to grow into something massive in the next, say, 48 years. But, you know, they're not there yet, but they have the potential to do it now. They did a 3.0 mainnet launch, I think, a couple years ago, and it... And they basically, they also work off smart contracts. Like, like it takes 20 T fuel, T F U E L tokens, to deploy a smart contract, and one T fuel to interact with the smart contract. After the 3.0 mainnet launch, the gas fees will increase, but not by much. But there's a reason they increased, and and the reason is because they're going to enhance the security of this network um, even more, especially against spam attacks. So, the, you know the. It's all about security and, and making sure the network's secure as the company grows. Um, governance, okay, Theta, T-H-E-T-A, the Theta token, is a governance token designed to manage the blockchain and its future development. So holders of this token uh, get voting rights. Um, there's a viral component to the Theta network as well that a lot of people don't know about, so I wanted to at least you know, give you some alpha on this. Um, there's a basically as, as people watch videos these same videos are automatically forwarded to other users using some of the primary uh, users processing capacity so basically um, if someone's using the network it gets forwarded to other people that 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 the system probably flags as being similar to that person and and, and, and there's a viral aspect to that so the theta protocol is a peer-to-peer -peer delivery flat platform it's peer-to-peer and it's which is powered by its users. Um, the various types of content it offers are um, mostly electronic sports, movies, TV series, uh, series is if I want to say that right, and music. Okay, so those are four you know major you know niches. Um, the Theta protocol includes the ability for users uh, to buy tokens for advertising relaying video streams to other users, gift their favorite content creators and influencers and more. So there's a, there's a lot of use case to this. Um, so the so I'm gonna go over the founders now. Um, the, the Theta Network was founded in 2017 by Mitch Liu, a serial entrepreneur who, pre, who previously co-founded uh, mobile gaming and online advertising startups. He's been in the, the entrepreneurial space for a long, long time. And, 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 J, and it's pronounced J, J-E-A-Y or G-A, -G -A -G -A, I think it's G-A. Um, and it's spelled J-I-E-Y-I. -I. It's just, it's hard to, you know. Anyways, his last name is Long, so it's J-I-E-Y-I -I Long. Um, and he's an expert on virtual realities for live streaming. So, so, so J-E is the best person for this job because he, he has experience in this area. And, and the other founder is a serial entrepreneur, so, so they're good on their marketing, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they're, they have the team in place to grow this. Um, there's also an advisory board of this project, and, and there's some pretty big names in here. One of them is Justin Kana, who's the co-founder of uh, Twitch. And Steve Chen is also the co-founder of YouTube, and he's also on the advisory board. Um, there's also um, other senior executive positions um, which I'm not going to go into in this video, but you know, you, you could admit that there's a very strong team in place here. That I could tell you that much. Um, so let's go over some tokenomics. Um, in 2017, they originally raised 20 million to kickstart this project. The maximum supply of this token 
is 1 billion with an inflationary fixed emission rate since Genesis, which means the start of the project. Um, they, they're always burning tokens. I don't remember the exact burn rates and everything, but they are, they, they're very careful about making sure that you know, it doesn't get very inflationary. It, it's, it's, it's more of a deflationary project than an inflationary project, even though there's a billion tokens, but th this market rates it. I mean, there's video streaming is everything these days. But let me go over the percentages. Uh, I think it's 30% was allocated to the private sale to people like us that want to just buy the tokens. 7.9, I'm sorry, 7.49% was allocated to the team. So they're going to get, they're going to get a nice chunk of change. 1.3% was allocated to advisors. So advisors are getting paid pretty good, but they're, you know, you know, but they got to work for it. You know, they're not just going to get paid for doing nothing. 12.50% um, was allocated to partners. 12.5% was also allocated to network seedings. And 36.28% was allocated to lab reserves. So there's a lot of, 36% is a lot of money going into research and development because it, it does, it's going to take a lot of that to, to make sure this project is on the right track. So I'm going to, I'm going to give you the conclusion of the Theta um, network and um, go from there. Uh, the projected long-term growth of the Theta network is positive based on the mainstream use of blockchain, video streaming, and virtual reality advances over the last few years and going forward. Okay. Um, they're, they aim to reduce the cost of content distribution networks or CDNs and make distribution more seamless. They have the potential to serve industry giants like YouTube, Netflix, and Twitch. Um, with better partnership deals and more mass adoption, this coin has the potential to 50X and reach a market clap, or excuse me, a market cap, cap close to 100 billion um, and have a value of about $100 per Theta token. You, you can imagine now the value is $1.98. You could still pick them up for around two bucks a, a token. So that's not too bad. It's, it's a budding project. Um, and I think it's, it's over, uh, what do you call it, overvalued or undervalued? It's undervalued. Um, so anyway, um, they're in a better position than any other company to make these alliances in the future. Um, so they also have expansion plans for the Theta Drop NFT marketplace, which, which may also help them gain market share in this exciting industry. Um, interactions with smart tra contracts alone can get them up to 600,000 transactions per day. Um, by solving the bandwidth and infrastructure challenges faced by centralized content delivery networks, as I mentioned earlier, Theta is primed to disrupt this multi-billion dollar industry. Um, finally, if you look out for the upcoming launch of Theta's Edge Cloud platform that will be released on May 1st, which is only about two weeks away, and, and th this is gonna be a major catalyst to this project, and its growth will leverage NVIDIA GPU tech for uh, AI computing. Um, and, 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 you know, there's something I also want to mention, you know, when, when Bitcoin explodes and all the other alts pump, this is going to pump too. But if you add the use case that this has and the pump, I mean, this, this, this could really have potential to be kind of a coiled crypto, meaning it's just like a spring loaded wrist ready to go. Pew. So let's talk about the wallet app. They, Theta users can also download an official Theta wallet app to hold and stake Theta, Theta and T Fuel tokens. Um, you can Google that and, and, and you know, just, just Google um, Theta Network Wallet app and, and there'll be a website that comes up. Just make sure it's the right one. Um, investing in Theta. Okay. As a U.S. citizen, I was able to invest in Theta using the uh, Uphold um, crypto exchange service. I've been a member of Uphold for about, I don't know, about two months now. And I in my biggest position right now is Theta Network. Um, I want to make it clear that I didn't buy any T-Fuel tokens, I just bought Theta tokens. And, and the reason I did that is because I felt like buying a Theta token is more like directly investing in the company itself. And that and that's my rationale about it. I, I, I want to be part of the actual core company and not just because I'm not really using it for any other reason other than, than as an investor. <coughs> I currently hold about 1,550 Theta tokens valued at about $3,100 in fiat. Um, I consider this investment one of my heavy positions, so it, it's definitely one of my bigger plays. It, um, my, obviously, my biggest play is Bitcoin, and then the second is Ethereum. Um, but this is one of my 
there's there's about six positions under this that are around you know three thousand dollars and that's in this VIP. so those are that those positions are, are, are what i consider pretty heavy i don't plan on dcing any more into this project other than what i already have i don't I'm, i mean i'm not gonna you know dc into it because i have other projects um, I'm spreading my risk throughout several other projects that I'm bullish on um, that I'm gonna send you information on in, in the next few days. Um, now that's about the end of this review. That's all I really can think of or that I have to say about this project. Um, I think it's cool. I think um, I think if they just make some good alliances over the next you know four years, it's an easy 50x. That's my opinion. I'm not telling you to invest or not. I'm not your financial advisor. I can't do that. But I just want, so I just want to say if you, if you like this content and you think you learned something, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also click the notification bell and YouTube will send you automated follow-ups every time I release a new video. Um, also, if you would give this uh, video a like, if you have in your heart to do that, that would help me a lot and, and leave a comment because all your comments that you leave whether positive or negative, generate an interesting dialogue. Um, so thanks for watching. I'm going to be in touch with my big 2024 play within the next two or three days. Um, but there's one last thing I want to say. Um, a couple days ago, I purchased a $400 uh, video editing course from a guy named, uh, what's his name, Kevin. I don't remember his last name, but um, a friend of mine recommended it to me, and he says he's amazing. He makes about five thousand dollars a day on youtube as a youtube influencer and i'm good you know over the next four to six months i'm going to go through each there's like 60 or 70 lessons to this thing it's it's massive course and i i learned i went through my first lesson yesterday and, and i learned a ton that i didn't even know now um and if i can keep learning like that over the next four to six months the videos i'm hoping the videos that i create are going to get better and better i just want to let you guys know that that i do have plans and I do want to keep learning and improving you, you, you know what the content I'm putting out not well I know the alpha is, is good I mean these picks that I have I, I in my opinion they're 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 awesome picks they're about the best picks you can uh, in the crypto market at least that I'm aware of um, but I also want to make sure that the quality of the videos themselves are you know improve and, and I believe I'm gonna make that happen in the next six months by taking its course I just want to let you know that and, in case you didn't know but um i'll try to be in touch with within two to three days with my next video um because i am balancing education and c content creation i'm, I'm kind of trying to create a good balance and every video that i come out with will hopefully be better based on what i'm learning in this video course so anyway i'll be in touch soon peace out and have a great weekend if i don't get in touch with you before monday all right thanks have a good one bye